So today I am wanting to make some granola made by San Vloet. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. Um, but I wanted to film it because if it's any good, then hopefully people can follow along and make it for themselves because she says that it's absolutely amazing. And my mom and I love granola, so what better way to learn? So pretty much the ingredients, really the only ingredients you need are oatmeal, chia seeds, cinnamon, because that's for flavor, um, coconut oil. I don't know if you can substitute coconut oil for anything else, but I'm certain that if you wanted to replace the coconut oil with something else, you could. So after the um, these four ingredients, you then need flax seed, um, pumpkin seeds. I just got the roasted and salted ones because my store didn't have any raw and I don't think that having raw is an issue. Goji berries, um, pecan, half pecans, um, and then hazelnuts. So pretty much she just throws everything in a pan with like no particular order, but there is a method to madness. So I just lined a pan with parchment paper and just put on The oats are pretty much the base of the granola, which is why I do it first. And um, then she puts pecans. I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit, which is, I think, about 200 degrees Celsius, if I'm certain. Then the hazelnuts. I've never tried hazelnuts. Have, have you tried hazelnuts before? Mm -hmm. Like so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like Nutella. Okay. Then. After the nuts are all done, I mean, you can add variations to things that you want. It doesn't have to be exact. She even says in her video that you can make it to your own taste. So then, after that, then you use the flax seeds. Just pour them. And you can add more, you can add less. And then chia seeds. Marvelous. And then she puts a bit of cinnamon on. You don't want, or you know, if you like more cinnamon, you can add more, but. You just have to be careful with it because it can burn, which wouldn't be a fun time right now. And I like cinnamon, but I don't like it that much, so I just added it according to my taste. And then um, coconut oil, because she says that it gives it a little bit of a crunchy texture. So if you like the crunch, about two tablespoons. More or less. And wash your hands prior because then for this part you're gonna mix the coconut oil in with your hands. Now, some people might recommend that you, you know, you can put all this in a bowl and then, you know, heat the coconut oil so that it's all melted and then you can just pour it over, but I'm trying to follow her video to see, I don't know, maybe it makes a difference, who knows. Okay, I'm gonna hold that thought one second. I forgot the honey. <laughs> Hello. 
a good boy. You're such a good boy. She says that like for people that don't like honey, and then I also looked up a recipe that was based off of hers, where um, if you're allergic to honey and or don't like honey, then you can substitute with maple syrup. So, and then you can just use the spoon from the coconut oil. Okay, evenly spread that out. have the rack down because I'm not sure if it would burn so then there is that and you okay so then she puts it in there for about 20 minutes but she says check it at 15 because it can start burning at that point and then the recipe will be continued after it's done in 15 minutes Ooh. Looks like a pizza. A pizza? On camera. <laughs> it smells really good. Okay. Plastic out of the way. Put it on a cooling rock. Oh dear. Oh, oh. Cooling rack. Yeah. Yeah. And then you let it cool for about five minutes. And then it's on to the toppings. So now that it's been about five, ten minutes, um, I did not put the pumpkin seeds, I realized this after they were in the oven, I did not put the pumpkin seeds on so I'm justifying it by saying that they were already roasted and things so I was just going to put them on because i do that after. She puts coconut on, coconut flakes on after at the very end, but not everyone in my family likes coconut, so I'm substituting the pumpkin seeds so that it looks like the coconut flakes that she did. <laughs> and plus I love pumpkin seeds, so I'm not complaining. And then, the goji berries. It's important that you do not put the goji berries on before you put them in the oven because they will burn instantly. So don't put the goji berries on. Wait until after and it's cool. And you can get all these ingredients at like any natural food store or um, any surplus bulk store um, like I'm certain that natural grocers would I got all of my ingredients at Winco so if you have a Winco nearby by all means I would recommend going there and then just take a jar we use this to store other granola that my dad makes so just take a jar and scoop it in I don't know if the pan is too hot, otherwise I would just like pick it up and pour it in. <laughs> Let me see if it's too hot. Should I try pouring it in? Mm -hmm. See if that works. Okay. Steady wins the race. Yum! <laughs> it smells so good. So, should I try a bite of it? Mm hmm. Should have done that before you put it in there. I know. <laughs> Smart.
I might even like add more cinnamon because you don't really taste it but mm. that's really good and you can like put it on top of smoothies or oatmeal mm. or whatever you fancy yogurt um so that's this 10 out of 10 would recommend thank you for watching